Hello everyone, my name is Clementine. Welcome back to Clementine Creative. I'm back with another video. I'm really sorry if the last video felt a little bit rushed towards the end. What happens with these four minute videos is uh, I lose track of time and then I just bam, run out of the run out of time of the video and I keep talking. Uh, and then I have to end the video and I have to do like an outro and I just always have to like cut off where I was talking and it seems very rushed. But let's not focus on that let's focus on this longer video we have like two more minutes than we had previously so we have six and a half uh, minutes long video so hopefully this time will be a little bit better i'm recording this for the third time so hopefully now i will get it <laughs> um but let's talk about what's happening in the video for a bit uh you can see that i'm designing this whimsical looking character um again if this was like a video game i think this would be like a level one monster like a sloth and uh, you can see that I'm going in very fine, you know, I'm definitely not sketching out. Like, you can see some of the sketches happening here and there, but it definitely a majority is a refined line art. Um, this is not the preferred method of doing things. I definitely don't recommend doing it this way because I feel like doing it this way, it takes away a lot of possibilities. While you think you're doing really good because you don't have to spend you know, more time into finishing the line art, uh, it might take away from the whole happy accident where when you see a certain shape or something which happened by accident, not even planned, it can give a spar of the moment idea that can be re revolutionary. Uh, so, you know, try to keep, keep your designs to a sketch in the first phase. Here you're gonna see another creature. Uh, the second one that I'm drawing here that also looks, is gonna look very refined from the go, you know, get-go, we, I started with really nice lines and I ended it with really nice lines, or at least, you know, uh, slightly more refined lines than I'd normally would pick for a designing process. Um, but the next two designs you're gonna see are gonna be sketched out the way I would normally do it, and you're gonna see how I'm gonna go about doing that. Uh, if we go for a specific style that I was trying to get, Ah, I don't know. I would say these creatures were supposed to look more funny, you know, maybe even though they're enemies and, you know, they're you know, they're, they're not friendly. Uh, I still didn't want to, to make a look and... Blah, tongue twisters. Uh, I still didn't want to make them look like they're really ferocious, like, you know, very murderous. I wanted to make them look a little bit more whimsical, uh, easier to approach. However, the higher, you know, the strength of the monsters goes, the creepier they're gonna look like, uh, but still not to the extent that would creep you out completely. Uh, I feel like these are more Borderlands type creatures, you know, they're not, I don't, I didn't want them to make them look like, again, monsters, I wanted to make them look more approachable, you know, some something that you'd want to pat for five seconds before shooting it with a shotgun. That's the kind of monster I wanted to go with. Kind of like Borderlands, you know, it has a lot of these monsters that look very different, some look like insects, some look like uh, giant trolls, but at the end of the day, none of them look, you know, ferocious or disgusting or murderous. They always look like something, you know, that, that you'd want to, you know, get a closer look before killing it. And that's what I want, you know, I, I want something that uh, you'd consider petting before killing. Um, even though this is definitely not that kind of creature. Uh, it looks a lot like Alien from the Alien series. Um, but is definitely not as murderous looking. The ones in the Alien series make you shit your pants. Uh, very creepy. And that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to do the creature designs. Because I watched all of the Alien movies again. And I thoroughly enjoyed most of them except number 3. Which was a really bad one. Uh, not a really bad one. Just wasn't that good. Um, but the, the next creature you're going to see me design uh, is a Rhino. And that is definitely my favorite one. Uh, it takes design from, I guess, uh, a real animal. <laughs> Obviously a rhino and a bunny. But let's talk about a process that I use to achieve a design, uh, you know, so we can talk about, you know, how to reach these designs. So you can see that I start off with a cube, which is to say that I use this because... <laughs> why did I say all that? I use this cube basically to achieve my perspective and to be able to throw this beast in into space into the 3d space because anything in the environment uh, is in 3d uh, 
all comes down to basic shapes. And then that's something you'll definitely learn later on as you draw. Uh, you can see here we still have some perspective um, difficulty, something that is not well drawn, but that will change very, very fast. That was a weird outburst of words that I just did. Uh, but yes, it will get fixed. Uh, I have drawn two more designs that I haven't, you know, recorded accidentally. Uh, I'm a dumbass and I didn't press the record button. But I did finish line arts and when this is done, the sketch is done, you're gonna see the line arts. I didn't record them, I didn't want to waste a lot of time because I know that people like short videos. Uh, but I would love it if you could comment down in the comment section whether you like longer videos or shorter videos. It's much easier for me to know how to aim at that. Uh, I prefer doing the long ones though. Uh, but here we go, the sketch is now going to come to an end and you're going to see the completed line arts, uh, which looks something like this. I give them a slight color so we can make a little bit of differential, but nothing too much. I want to thank you for watching this video and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye. A werewolf that is like a dragon or a werewolf that's like, um, I don't know, a pig. You know, there's a lot of different things you can get and I think you're going to...